Are you feeling a little overwhelmed trying to stay on top of social media for your business? Well, today we're going to talk about a tool called Buffer. It's going to help you streamline your process and make you a tech smart boss when it comes to social media. Let's get started. Buffer for a long time, since back when it was BufferApp.com. Uh, they didn't even own the domain, but you can see here from the homepage, it's a great way to share uh, to multiple social media sites at the same time. They've got connections to Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Google+, uh, LinkedIn, and the best thing about it is they've got a free offering. And even when you need more than the free offering, it's pretty awesome. As I say here, it's only $10 a month, and then if you're a little bit bigger, you'll see they have plans for you as well. Uh, so what's great about this, it meets our criteria for a tech smart boss. One, it's easy. So I'm gonna show you how easy it is to set up and use. Two, it's affordable. So we're gonna start with the free platform uh, and talk about when you might need to move into the next plan. Uh, and three, it's gonna increase your brand. It's gonna make you look a little bit better. You can do a lot more on social media and we're all really busy as small business owners. So when you have this type of technology and tool, you can start to do things more efficiently, be more productive, and finally say, you know, I can do something with my social media accounts. And that's like share, you know, the links you find interesting, make the comments, share about your company, and do it all from a central place right there on your mobile phone. That's how I normally do it, and that's great. So we're gonna start, the free plan is perfect. It, it gives you one social account per platform. It gives you all the, everything pretty much uh, but Pinterest, and Pinterest is a little special, um, so we'll talk about that maybe a little bit later. Uh, and the only thing you really can't do in the free, uh, of course there's analytics and stuff like that, there's the calendar, so when you wanna do a little bit more of uh, social media planning, but you'll see that this limitation here is 10 scheduled posts per profile versus 100. And if you're just starting out and you're just starting to dabble into social media sharing, um, you know, free plan is perfect and then as you start to get familiar with it and you see some traction and you want to expand it they've got a great way to expand so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna go ahead and just click on the get started button right here and you can sign in with one of your social media accounts what I like to always do is kind of use my email and and password that way if anything ever happens to your access on these accounts you always have another way that you can get in so I'm gonna go ahead and put in my login information here and password and create an account. And you'll see that they're gonna do a great job kind of helping us to onboard. Uh, you'll see step one of five here, add in your uh, first couple of social profiles. Uh, so let's go ahead and do our Twitter. Now I've kind of already gone in and logged into these social profiles in other tabs here. So I've kind of got those credentials cached in. You don't have to do that, but you'll see when I do that that way, uh, it'll actually Oh, well, actually, it didn't use my uh, browser credentials. So let's go ahead and log in explicitly with these services. And what we're doing is authorizing this application that Buffer has an integration now with our Tech Smart Boss account on Twitter. Right? Number one accomplished. Go ahead and do Facebook. You'll see that it did accept my credentials. So I'm going to go ahead and pick my Tech Smart Boss page on Facebook and I actually haven't set up the um, uh, LinkedIn yet but you'll see here uh, I can always do those later so I've got two it says hey I'm a natural let's keep going so let's click on this button here to set up my schedule now what's nice about um, buffer is a little bit later once it gets to know your profile it'll actually recommend some of the best times um, to post uh, but for now I am on the East Coast I do like the a.m. p.m. so these are good let's continue to the next step and this is what I was talking about. They will actually go out and find your optimal times by looking at who your, what times your followers are typically on Twitter and things like that. That's actually the way to get started. Just keep it simple. Once you uh, have more strategy with your posting, you could kind of set your, go in here and set your posting times. But I'm gonna go ahead and say find my optimal time. And I don't have a lot of people on my particular pages yet. We're brand new. So it's not gonna do a good job, but it's probably gonna recommend some best practices for me. Uh, so it's going to say uh, how many times do I want to post each day. Twitter, normally you do want to do a couple more postings, but you know, just to start out with, I'm going to say three and have it calculate the best times to do my posting. Uh, so you can kind of see here, it's recommending um, some afternoon times for me. That looks good. It actually, uh, even with very low sort of followers in my uh, particular Twitter account, gave me some pretty good timings. 
I'm going to say looks good. And uh, do I want to track the people clicking? Sure. Always great to have that. Now, in the free plan, we're not going to have some of that social analytics, um, but that's fine. Uh, we can always upgrade and get that. And we're ready. Uh, and this little checkbox here will actually have Twitter, your Twitter account automatically follow the buffer. It's a little sneaky way that they're going to get their uh, follower list up on, on Twitter. If you want that, you, you could do that. I'm going to go ahead and uncheck that because I don't like when people automatically you know, uh, use my credentials to follow them. Let's go ahead and go to the dashboard. So we're set up and you can kind of see at this point in the, I can connect my other accounts. And in this free plan, we are limited to one page per account. So for example, let's go ahead and do that process. I'll count, uh, connect up with a, uh, a Google Plus page that I've started. And again, I've kind of already linked in. I've got my TechSmart Boss login credentials in my browser, so I don't have to log in again, but I do have to allow them to have permission. And I'll choose my TechSmart Boss page. So you can see this is very easy. This is not rocket science. You don't have to have a degree in technology to sort of do this. And now we are in Buffer and we're ready to start sharing some posts. So let's go ahead and do our first tweet. So very easy. You'll see right here, I've got all my linked accounts. I can kind of Turn them on and off. So if you want to do specialized messages for each one, you can. So I've got my Twitter, Facebook, Google page here. I'm going to go ahead and paste in a tweet, kind of put out together. And you'll see what happens is uh, you can put your message, put your hashtags. I put in a link that I want to share. And it'll actually go out there and grab the link, grab in the images off that page. You can modify this and change this if you want. Uh, and just like that, we can up. Oh, Take a look, it's a little bit too big um, for one of our sites. So you'll notice here when that happens, when you'll see I can't add it to the queue, probably Twitter is the one that has the 140 character limitation. So you can kind of see if I turn off Twitter, it'll actually let me send that longer message to Facebook and my Google page. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and send out my full message on these sites. So we'll add that to the queue. And then for Twitter, I'm gonna come back on and turn that on. Oh, we've got that, great. Let's go ahead and do one for Twitter, so I'll turn those two sites off. And what I'll do on this one is maybe take out a couple things. Let's take out the question that I posed. And looks like uh, we need to shorten this up even more. I'll keep my hashtags in there. Let's go ahead and just take out that second piece. So you'll see here now, it'll actually let me add that into my Twitter queue because it's the right size. So other things I could have done is I could have taken out the image and, and done a couple things like that. But let's go ahead and, and, and tweet it out like this. Now you'll notice that by default, it used this buffer shortener for my link, which is nice. But check out our other videos. because I'm going to show you how you can set up your own personalized link that comes back to your brand, which is going to be even nicer. Um, so what I'll do is add that to my queue for Twitter. Perfect. So that's it. We just queued up our first sets of tweets. So you'll see here in my queue, I've got one item. I can always edit this, delete it, change it around, switch my time on it. And as I click here on my account, so I can see everything that's queued up, be able to do those same things. So it's a very easy tool. And stay tuned because what we're going to do is cover a little bit more about Buffer and how you can leverage some of the other things. One of the big things we're going to talk about is how you can change this uh, a shortening link here to be your own brand. And the best thing about it, you can do it for free. So stay tuned for that video.